Hey guys, it's your girl Jay and I'm back with another video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, if you haven't already and you need some support, please check out my um, Facebook weight loss support group in the description box below. It is a private group, so if you're uncomfortable like most of us sharing your weight and your um, your struggles, your strengths, your, <laughs> your tries, your failures um, with your friends and family, um, it's a closed group. So you don't have to worry about that here. Anyway, in today's video, as I promised, we will be making the anti-inflammatory, good for your digestion smoothie that <laughs> I really didn't follow a recipe but found good stuff to put in. All right, here we go. All right guys, so these are the ingredients for the smoothie. I have a half a, a, half a cup of pineapple and that is about 35 calories. Um, pineapple is supposed to ease digestion, boost immunity, suppress inflammation, and speed recovery after exercise. I didn't know that part. And then, right here, it's about a teaspoon of fresh grated ginger, and that's also supposed to reduce muscle pain. Um, it's anti-inflammatory, it may lower blood sugar, and it helps treat chronic indigestion. Pineapple also was um, anti-inflammatory also. And then we have spinach and yeah, it's just spinach. You got a whole bunch of stuff in it. We already know that stuff. <laughs> and then we have cucumbers. Cucumbers are one of my favorites. They aid in digestion. They also may help lower blood sugar. They promote regularity. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> and they may aid in weight loss. Um, in addition to this here, um, I couldn't think of a liquid to use and I was just going to use water. Um, and while I'm talking about water, I'm not using this, but I found these at Target. You guys, this is the best flavored water I have ever had. It's not carbonated, um, so you don't get that funky after aftertaste. And then I'm trying to show you the nutrition. Zeros all the way down. And then the best part of it is zero calories and zero sweeteners. There's no artificial sweeteners. I have noticed that um, using artificial sweeteners have been hindering my um, weight loss. I was buying those Clearly American Waters at um, Walmart um, just for when I wanted something sweet. They were zero calories, of course, but with, um, I don't know what sweetener they use, but I wasn't getting a lot of loss on the scale when I was drinking those. I haven't I'm not drinking those anymore though. Okay, so this is the liquid I decided to use. This is toasted coconut, coconut almond milk. I have never had this before. I just happened to be at Target and I was like, what am I gonna get, what am I gonna get? I usually use, well not usually, when I was doing protein shakes, I used to use the, the unsweetened, um, I think it was silk, unsweetened almond milk and it was like 30 calories for a cup this is 45 calories for a cup right now I have a half a cup out and then we'll see if I need more liquid probably not but if you are interested here are some nutrition facts I don't know if you guys can see all of that but it's gluten free soy free dairy free vegan um And that's about it <laughs> but anyway so I am going to mix all of this stuff up in my blender cup my hands are clean even if they weren't I'm the only one drinking this so whatever so full disclosure guys I don't know oh, I think I need to give y'all some more full disclosure I don't know if all this stuff gonna fit um one two I have never had any of this I have never had I have never tried this I bought the ingredients and they have been sitting in my freezer so <laughs> we about to see together y'all um I'm gonna put this ginger in here I like ginger I don't love ginger and I usually have ginger with I mean sushi or um I don't know where we're at but there's some place that we used to go that has a ginger soy like um 
marinade or something on salmon and that's really good I'll probably need more liquid I only had measured out a half a cup cuz I'm a doofus a little bit <laughs> but if we need more we'll put more um, I'm just gonna go ahead and blend this and I'll be right back so this is what it looks like blended <laughs> I'm not done I think I'm going to add a little bit probably about another fourth of a cup of this coconut almond milk in here and then try and get some more of those greens in there um so this idea this idea came from a couple of places um one Diamondic smith she makes smoothies almost every day with her omad meal and i was thinking since my goal is possibly to get to omad that um um it's a good idea to help just get extra nutrients in you guys remember when i did that one week of let me get a spoon or something to push this down. When I did that one week of OMAD, I had a hard time getting all my calories in. And I'm okay with not necessarily getting all of the calories in, but I'm not okay with not getting enough nutrients in. Um, so I thought like a green smoothie or something like that would be a good way to get some. Get some extra ones in. If I drank this with my meal, um, even with this 20 and 4 because I doubt that I would have two meals because my eating window is going to be between um, 5 and 9 and I just know I'm not going to have two meals for whatever reason when I'm fasting I get full a lot um, quicker and it usually stays around <laughs> for a while so I'm imagining that I would um, probably have a snack or something hopefully something healthy depending on the day <laughs> around five o'clock and then have my meal with my husband around 7 7 30. all right i'm gonna blend this up and we're gonna taste it y'all it's looking real green y'all real 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 green Ugh. and I put this lid on real tight you know what this look like I used to make my kids their baby food <laughs> when they were younger and that's exactly what this looks like it looks like when I would make their peas all right so I'm keeping in mind that this is good for me and this is a way to get some extra nutrients in with not without a whole lot of calories this really didn't have a whole lot of calories the one the most calories were in the pineapples and that was only 35 calories for half a cup um, um, the ginger, spinach, and cucumbers really just had a teeny amount of calories. And then that coconut almond milk was 45 calories for a cup. And I used about three-fourths of a cup. So, not terrible, right? It's real green. I tried wheatgrass. I'm stalling. I tried wheatgrass at the mall. It was healthy. It tastes like it was healthy. Okay. I think I need a new recipe. <laughs> Hold on. 
listen, everything is okay with it. It really just tastes like grass, except the ginger. I think I put too much ginger. I put a teaspoon of ginger. Maybe I should have put like a fourth of a teaspoon or half a teaspoon. Like it goes in your mouth and it just tastes real fresh. Like you're drinking a salad or grass clippings, whatever. Um, <laughs> um, my husband's in the other room laughing at me. But um, then that ginger comes and that ginger is just like, ah! But it's a lot. <laughs> oh, it's a lot. I'm gonna drink this though, y'all know I ain't wasting nothing. Okay, a little less ginger in that bite. Maybe I just need to mix it up some more. I can't lie to y'all, listen. When you cut your grass and your grass clippings go into the bag, if you blending that up and drink it, that's what this tastes like. I promise you, I'm sure that's what this. Mm. I'm gonna figure this out. This was a fail, but it had good ingredients in it. And maybe somebody who kind of likes that punch of ginger, Allie, Allie living life. I bet she might like this. She might like this. Oh no. Alright, well, that's it, y'all. <laughs> I don't know about this drink. I did buy some berries, um, some frozen berries. So maybe something with a stronger flavor, or maybe if I put more fruit in it. I don't know. Don't do it, y'all. Don't don't do it. Do it. <laughs> See you later.